June 30th, 1970, turned out to be a scorching hot day. The dignitaries who had turned out for the groundbreaking ceremony soon shed their coats. About the only ones present who didn't make some concession to the heat were the two mules who were to pull the plow and bashful brother Oswald who was to guide the handles. NLT was represented by William C. Weaver. Governor Buford Ellington was present, as was Mayor Beverly Briley. WSM was represented by Irving Waugh and E.W. Bud Wendell. Waugh was the guiding force behind Opryland. Wendell was to succeed Waugh as WSM president. The Grand Ole Opry was represented by Roy Acuff and his Smoky Mountain Boys. The idea for Opryland originally germinated in the mind of Channel 4 program director Elmer Alley. Alley suggested that since WSM's Grand Ole Opry was to build a permanent home, a music-oriented entertainment complex should be built around it. Opryland USA was designed to be a spacious, colorful showcase for live musical shows and family entertainment. But great emphasis was placed on retaining the natural beauty of the location. The existing trees were supplemented by thousands of flowers and decorative plants. Opryland depended on the cooperation of Mother Nature. But when the park was about to open for its fourth season, Mother Nature showed a streak of perversity. Opryland executives had researched the Cumberland River's behavior thoroughly. The dikes and bluffs were higher than the river's all-time flood stage. Apparently, the Cumberland hadn't read the Corps of Engineer report. Opryland shops and restaurants had already been stocked for the 1975 season when, on March 13th, the floods hit. The muddy water swept all across Opryland, all the way to Briley Parkway. It pushed through doorways, surged over the gas lamps, and touched the foundations of the Opry House. Despite the devastation, park personnel were able to open a freshly painted, clean-swept Opryland only three weeks behind schedule. Opryland had another brush with potential disaster in 1979 when it appeared America was suffering a gasoline shortage. The initial crunch had a temporary effect on attendance, but most of the slack was taken up by an increase in local and regional attendance. The nine-season cumulative attendance is now over 15 million. It's estimated that each visitor spends around $28 per day in Nashville. The millions that NLT plowed into that past year, 10 years ago, has flowered into a bountiful harvest for local business.